The Biden administration has now unleashed the most powerful law enforcement apparatus in the world, the U.S. Department of Justice, against American parents, middle class parents whose kids go to public school and who voice any opposition whatsoever to the racism now being pushed on their kids. Why are they doing this? Because something called the National School Boards Association has told DOJ that these parents are domestic terrorists. At a recent briefing at the White House, Joe Biden's chief flack apparently agreed with that assessment. Watch. So does the administration agree that parents upset about their kids' curriculums could be considered domestic terrorists? Well, let me unravel this a little bit because the National School Board Association is not a part of the U.S. government. I'd point you to them. What the Department of Justice said in a letter from the Attorney General is that, quote, threats against public servants are not only illegal, they run counter to our nation's core values. That is true. These were threats against public servants, threats against uh, members of the school board. Uh, regardless of the reasoning, uh, threats and violence against public servants is illegal. That's what he was conveying from the Department of Justice. Threats and violence are illegal. They're rarely prosecuted, if ever, when they're committed by loyal Democratic voters. But that's not the point. The Department of Justice did not give a single example of threats or violence. These are thought crimes that are being prosecuted here. Erica Sansi knows that well. She's a parent and founder of Parents Defending Education, and she joins us tonight. Erica, thanks so much for coming on. So you've basically, because you want some say in what your own children are taught by government schools, you have been likened to a domestic terrorist. W where does this leave you? So it leaves me frustrated, but not surprised. Um, over the summer, the teachers union signaled, actually they didn't signal, they said, explicitly that they were going to invest money in investigating parent groups. So we knew that something like this might be coming. And it's clear that um, school boards and school officials are simply not used to this level of scrutiny. Um, they are, I was on a school committee, so I can say that this is something new. COVID blew you know, the curtain wide open. And now parents are expressing concerns over a variety of things. And it seems that almost regardless of what it is that they are expressing frustration about, they are, they are mocked, they are dismissed, or they are told that it's going to cost them many thousands of dollars to get the information that they're asking for. So um, we're obviously very concerned, particularly because it takes a lot uh, of courage for parents to go before school boards and express their thoughts and how they're feeling about what's happening in their children's school it doesn't come naturally to most people. And so when we saw this come down from the Department of Justice, we knew that it was an attempt to intimidate parents into silence, even though they are not doing anything wrong. No, no. In fact, they're, they're doing what they're required to do as parents, which is look out for the best interests right. of their own children and as citizens, which is to speak up with elected officials. So when there were concerns about police brutality and the misuse of police powers, reformers pushed for body camps. And their argument was, if you've got nothing to hide, why wouldn't you allow it to be on tape? And that's happened across the country. Why don't we have cameras in classrooms, every single classroom? So that's an interesting question. And the truth is, I still come down on the side against cameras, though I certainly understand the impulse for people um, wanting that to happen. But I do take your point about the hypocrisy. The same people that wanted to defund, to defund the police now want to stick the FBI on parents. Well, and exactly. the same people that were for cam the, the same people that were for cameras are now saying that parents don't even have a right to see the curricular materials being used in their children's schools. Yeah. So it really is like a deep question. Whose children are they? <laughs> do they belong to the teachers union or, or to you? You are a brave person to persevere in the face of this. And I appreciate it. I hope you'll come back. Erica, thank you.